Hi and welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture we will talk about flat map operator. Flat map operator differs from flat map operator. So basically when we should be using flat map operator. So like flat uh, like map operator flat map transmit items after applying a function to modify the items but it returns observable. So map operator was returning a element and here it is returning observable. So flat map can work on multiple different kind of observables and then flatten them and return an observable which can be subscribed again and it does not maintain any order. So once you try to create a stream from different observables, the, the newest stream doesn't guarantee you the order. So these are the main features of flat map operator. Let's look how we see flat map operator by a marble diagram. Here you can see that the events are being published on the from the upper line which are transformed and then a new published events in form of an observable are being published. So the entire events are transformed into a newer kind of event. So here all circles are getting transformed into a squares and that new observable is being emitted followed by an oncomplete. So let's just start coding to make things more clear. So now you can see that the flat map actually expects an observable. So what we'll do, we'll just remove this particular part from here. And in this flat map, what we'll do, we will just say, okay, so whatever is coming to you, just apply this the function which we have written down. Now this code looks complete to me but let's see what we are doing here and how it is different from map that is the main thing. So if you see map, map was returning you list of events but flat map basically returns you an observable and inside this one there will be number of observables coming for each integer which will be emitted here from this source when I'm doing this one, it is actually returning you observable multiple times for each integer. So all those observables will get flattened and then the newer one will get subscribed here. So the newer observable will have list of integer, which is basically the twice the number that we are act sending to it. But at the same time, this, this one will be flattened one. So say here there are 10 different numbers so for we will get 10 different observables but all of them will get flattened into one and then the newer one will get subscribed since I said that it is twice so let's add into two here so as you saw the results results look quite familiar with our last map one but here we are actually working on list of observables which will be coming here and then we are flattening it. So flat map is a good choice once you are trying to merge many operators or I should say many observables. So what could be a better use case? Say you are actually trying to hit two different APIs. One for getting uh, information about vehicles and then the other API tells for this particular vehicle what are the different models are available. So you 
you can actually merge this all information of a vehicle with different models into one single flat map and then you can publish it as a newer observable. So in that case you can use a flat map because you will flatten the results coming from vehicle API and then the vehicle model API and then you will actually return the result but flat map will not guarantee the order in which the results will be coming. In next one we will look at a scan operator.